Hello. <laughs> um, I thought I would start off this vlog with obviously a haul. So some of the stuff's from Kmart, Chemist Warehouse, etc. Um, mostly from Kmart. So first, I got this water bottle. It's a two litre one. Um, basically for home. So I drink at least two litres of water a day. I know you're supposed to like drink like three, but it's i'm struggling getting through this that's how much i've drank so far i only bought it today that was i think six dollars then from kmart i also got some cotton buds this is 600 for two dollars because it's two times 300 so there's two like little packets in there i got some socks because i always lose them and then i got two things of makeup remover pads these are the large ones and there's 60 in here always need these and the last thing i got were these Three pack of scrunchies for $5. They are beautiful colours. How cute are these? And the design on the green and white ones is so lovely. It's like... It has like random little holes in them. And then the pink one's just a really beautiful pink colour. But it's fraying. So I'll have to cut that. Then from Chemist Warehouse, I got my pill. This Bondi Sands Glow Matte One Day Tan. Instant Wash Off Flawless Tan for Face and Body. I got this because I've seen everyone rave on about this range. Um, I read the other ones and some were shimmery and stuff and I quite like just the matte look. I don't really like to look that shimmery. And if you want to look shimmery, you can just put highlighter on the places that you want to. And then the last thing I got was another Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim, um, eyebrow pencil thing or crayon. These, this is a dupe for the Benefit, the Precisely My Brow. And I feel like this is a dupe for it. It's just so easy to use. I believe the bigger size comes with a spoolie and this comes with a spoolie. So, I find that they work exactly the same. So, when I saw that Maybelline had come out with this, oh, <laughs> I bought one and I've been using it every day. So, I thought I'd buy a backup while it was on sale. And then I went into the body shop just because I saw someone I was watching on YouTube. I think it was Soph Does Nails. Yeah, I think I was watching her video and um, she was using the strawberry shampoo and conditioner. I have a shampoo and conditioner that I already used for my hair. Um, so I was going to buy that, but I really just wanted to smell the strawberry scent. And oh my god, it smells amazing. So I got the little travel size shower gel. And then I saw that they had um, a vanilla pumpkin range. I had to get the hand cream. I was going to get the shower gel, but things are just too expensive sometimes. And I already have a shower gel that I'm using, so I thought... You know what? I, I always use hand cream, so I bought the hand cream. That is all I have to show you for now. This was just a little random start to the vlog. I don't know what else I'm going to put in this video, but I hope you enjoyed that little segment. Okay, probably doesn't look any different, like, especially my clothes and everything. But it is the next day. It is Thursday. Um, so I didn't really do anything else yesterday. I am going to do a major pamper night because... I just needed to take a deep breath. One thing that I've been meaning to show you guys and share how I use it is this hair mask. So the company Glimmer, Glimmer <laughs> reached out to me and um, they asked if I wanted to receive this hair mask. And I said, of course, anything to make my gross hair less gross. <laughs> so um, I was like, yes, please. I got this about two weeks ago maybe and i've used it twice so this isn't a first impression because i already love it and i have learned a few things so i wanted to be able to share with you guys things that i've noticed before you potentially buy it i want you to know how to use it what i think of it if i think it's actually worth it etc i didn't want to just say go buy this i haven't tried it yet but it looks good you know what i mean first of all how cute is the packaging so of course this came in here but i've taken it out this it's been in my shower um i just think it's gorgeous on the box it says it's a coco lush hair mask five in one hair treatment you get 220 mils in this uh it's vegan friendly and animal cruelty free that has the process on the box and i'm pretty sure all of the information is also on yeah it is also on the outer part of the product so the process is step one shampoo your hair step two get handsy and apply your mask step three rinse your mask and step four enjoy the results and glimmer and i love that i love that little bit at the end i had to ask how long to leave this in for because i didn't really specify most masks you leave in for like 10 
maximum like 10 minutes unless it's like a really deep treatment mark i leave it in for 10 minutes i just wash my body i shave and everything and i yeah obviously leave this in the first time i tried this product i uh actually put it in like all of my hair i tried to do it quite sparingly like i actually did the roots as well that was a mistake by me i think i either put too much or you're just not supposed to put it in like towards the roots of your hair because it went like my hair got really oily really quickly and i just think that's because there was too much oil at the roots duh you're probably sitting there like yeah of course that's why so the last time i did it i put it in just kind of like this portion of my hair mainly the part that's like still quite colored i tried to focus on because that's where it's the most like damaged so i really really love it it smells divine this is what it looks like oh my god it smells so good i don't want to tip it in my room that is what it looks like so i am going to go and have a shower i'm going to wash my hair i'm also going to tan tonight so i'm going to shave in the shower as well um and then i'm going to do a face mask so i'm going to take off this makeup before i go in the shower it's just going to be like a really lush night i hope i'm just super tired and i kind of want to go to bed already but it's only like three o'clock so we are going to get this done okay guys ignore how i look <laughs> um <laughs> so this is my hair after the after after the mask i will put like a before and after like somewhere um <laughs> i am going to go tan now and i will show you what tan i use at the moment and a new product that i'm actually going to try out so come along let's turn the lights on it's fugly yellow lighting in here i'm sorry This light's a bit better. So, the tan, well, the moisturizer I use is the Vaseline Deep Restore Moisturizer. And then I've actually got a couple to choose from. So, I'll show you the ones that I have at the moment. I am a tan psychopath. What's this one? The Mind Tan Absolute X40 Ultra Dark. The Uber Dark Latan. One in marula oil, so it has marula oil in it, sorry. Um, we've got the Bondi Sand uh, One Hour Express Foam, the Mind Tan Violet, and the Uber Dark Violet Base. So, I don't know which one to choose. I'm not really like doing anything that's hugely going to show any part of me that's going to be tan, but I just like to have it on. So, I might just okay i'll either go for this one or the bondi sands foam i might go for the bondi sands one just because it will probably dry a bit faster and i hate being sticky for ages so i'm gonna try that one and i also bought the bondi sands glow as you might have seen so i might try that on my face wish me luck and yeah i will show you what i look like after i'm done so this is what i look like now like half my other tan is probably still on but i cannot be bothered scrubbing and i'm also going to show you how i curl my hair i am back and tan i look a bit darker now you probably can't even tell sorry i'm watching a video but for some reason, nothing is sticking to this side of my face. I don't know what's happening. But even my um, foundation won't stick there. So I have no idea what has happened. Who knows? I'm going to go and curl my hair. So I literally never use a curler. Ignore how crazy I look right now. So I'll just um, part my hair. And I won't really go in any particular order. Sorry, I'm going to have to like us in the mirror so all i do is i take one strand of hair i kind of differ between how much hair i'll take um sometimes it'll be a bit less a bit more just depends so i'll so for things like on this side i'll go kind of is this towards or away i think away from my face so i'll just take the straightener and literally just slide down my hair like that and then it comes out like a little wave. So 
So I'll end up doing that with every piece down here. I'm probably going to miss a few because I'm not using the mirror. I'm just using the viewfinder, which is proving to be quite difficult. So I just put the hair in there and then twist it around. I'll do one on this side. It's funny because when you go to explain it, you actually can't remember how you do things. So I take this one and I curl it away and then slide it down just like that. This one was a bit skinnier, this piece. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'll do with the rest of my hair. And then I'll let it sit for a bit. So like these ones have been sitting for quite a while once I'm up to this part. So I'll end up just brushing it out with a um, normal hairbrush. And then that's it. So I'm just going to do this now and then I will come back on and show you the finished product okay so this is finally my hair done it is all curled waved whatever brush it out just quite lightly like i'm already gonna be sleeping on it um if sun drop during the night and stuff normally the side obviously that i sleep on drops quite dramatically and there we go it is all finished so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please go check out glimmer i'll leave their website and instagram and stuff all down below their hair mask is amazing thank you so much for watching again and i hope to see you in my next video bye